Oh, my back! Oops! When you think of the hazards healthcare workers face every day performing either major or often even simple tasks in awkward or narrow spaces, it is no surprise to know that the healthcare industry is a high-risk industry for musculoskeletal disorders or MSDs, including slips, trips and falls. Hello, I'm Dr Catherine Murphy and I'd like to share with you some of the hard facts on the strain ergonomic related injuries have on our profession. How significant is that level of strain? In the US, healthcare has more reported injuries than construction. In fact, the reported rate of ergonomic injury in the US is almost eight nurses per 100 full-time equivalent healthcare workers. According to the 2005 European Survey on Working Conditions, more than a quarter of workers in the health and social work fields reported suffering from back pain. In Australia, of the 17,500 serious workers' compensation claims reported amongst healthcare workers in 2009-2010, more than half were muscular stress related, while 18% were for slips, trips and falls. The nature of nursing work probably means even higher rates amongst this particular group. In Korea, one study at a major hospital revealed that more than 90% of nurses reported an MSD at any body site while nurses who undertook manual handling of patients were 7.2 times more likely than non-nurses to report an MSD. This same study suggests that Korean nurses, when compared to their international colleagues, are likely to have the heaviest MSD burden. Although it is important to appreciate that globally, MSDs among nurses range from 72% to 94%, with more than a third of all nurses reporting lower back pain, regardless of their country. Clearly, whether ergonomic injuries are a result of lifting and handling patients, overexertion, standing in one spot for too long in the OR, tripping over cords on the floor, or even slipping on wet floors during high fluid loss surgery, the strain on our industry is felt all around the world. MSDs impact both the healthcare worker and their hospitals. Even patients are inadvertently affected. Undoubtedly, the human, financial, organisational and individual costs are substantial. For example, it is estimated that the direct and indirect costs of back injuries and other MSDs amount to more than $20 billion in the US, while every year nurses in the US lose more than three quarters of a million workdays. In Europe, one source reports up to 7 million lost workdays, perhaps costing as much as 710 million euros. More concerning, however, is that depending on the nature of the injury, the valuable skills of nurses are often lost forever. The US reports nearly 20% of nurses either change or leave their jobs due to an MSD. As a profession, can we really afford to ignore this? If you answered with a resounding no, I recommend you adopt a multimodal approach to reducing the risk of ergonomic related injuries. This involves firstly assessing and reviewing administrative controls like policies and standard operating procedures that may or may not be in place. Secondly, it means considering the introduction of new tools, devices or equipment. And thirdly, it means ensuring workers are familiar with and properly trained in their correct application and use. In laboratory-based studies, experts have demonstrated that ergonomic devices reduce risk in injury. Their impact in clinical settings is less well demonstrated. However, in one program in 86 hospitals, researchers reported that when ergonomic consultation and financial support for purchasing ergonomic devices used for patient handling and lifting were provided, over a two-year period, the median MSD rate halved. This research indicates that ergonomic consultation and financial support for purchasing ergonomic equipment can be beneficial and lead to impressive reductions in MSD rates. Hopefully the facts presented today and these promising results will encourage you to act now. Don't continue to tolerate the burden of MSDs in your workplace. Find out more about the common sense solution already available to make your workplace safer and ease the pain.